Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steve and normally I've got my little fairy film with me, but unfortunately he's no longer with me. Um, I've been coming out here for about four years now with him to make YouTube channels. Um, so this will be the first time I've ever been out on my own. Have a look at my last uh, video and that'll explain why. I don't really want to get into it. It's a bit too upsetting really to uh, talk about. So like I say, out on my own today. Absolutely beautiful day it is. Um, we'll say nine o'clock in the morning. Um, coming up to autumn, not actually autumn yet. We've got a few turning trees, a few turning leaves. I'm just gonna have a wander around. A little bit of mist here and there, not a lot, but you never know when that sun comes up a little bit more. It might just uh, lift a little bit more mist up. So I'm gonna have a wander around that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this behind me. Absolutely stunning stuff it is. Very ancient this woodland. I've just got to get to the elm elm trees, that's it. They've got some really giant elm trees around there. I think they're elm trees. I don't know much about trees. Just got leaves on them. But I'm gonna have a wander around now. It's absolutely beautiful here. And I'm gonna see what takes my fancy and I'll uh, get some shots for you. See you in a minute. They think they're elm trees, think they're beech trees. Um, one, look at the size of this thing behind me. Absolutely huge it is. What's down there? That's a few hundred years old and uh, got another one just over here as well. Oh, we've got loads of them actually. We'll just swing round, it's a bit dark here. Just swing round. These are absolutely huge. These would be absolutely brilliant when they turn a little bit more orange on the old leaves, I think. At the moment, these ones are a bit green. It's quite green here, actually. I'm going to have to uh, wander around a little bit more and see what I can get to a little bit more orange. As you can see, all the way down here, all the ferns are beautiful orange. It's absolutely stunning there. It's like Lucasade around there. So I'm just going to have to see if we can get something with a bit more colour on the leaves. It's a bit green here and it doesn't really show autumn. Autumn in the new forest. What should we say? End of October, all through November. So we're in the middle of October at the moment. So, or the end of October. So we've still got a long, long way to go. Another five, six weeks of autumn yet. And it's only just started down here. So obviously we're on the south coast. So I'm gonna have a scat oh, I like that. Right, I think I've just found something and uh, I'm gonna have to set this up now, so uh, back in a minute. <laughs> Right, I think I'm just going to move around a bit. Where I first started off, um, you had the tree trunk to the left and you had all the branches that had fallen over to the right and there was just too much separation. So what I thought I'd do is just been go walking around basically this whole tree with my camera, uh, well, mobile phone, and I've just been taking pictures and I think I'm just going to stand just over there. So the tree and the fallen bushes, as they turn around like that, they're much, much closer. So I'm just going to uh, reposition my camera and go from there, I think.
Right, it's always the way, isn't it? You're walking down um, a pathway, uh, somewhere in the middle of uh, a woodland somewhere, and then you spot this um, image, you think, oh great, that's absolutely gonna look absolutely perfect. So you start walking over to it. Um, it was sunny a minute ago, and it was absolutely amazing. Now, unfortunately, it's gone all cloudy. So um, the image that I was gonna take just doesn't seem the same. In fact, it's not very good at all. The only thing with woodland photography is changing conditions. Now, I'd like it to be very stable, the conditions. A minute ago, like I say, we were looking at that uh, composition over there. It was sunny, I saw it from a quite a way away, and I walked over and it looked great. Then the sun went in and then it just totally changed the composition and the look of the, um, the image really. So at the moment it's in and out, in and out. Oh, we're getting a bit of sun now. So I'm gonna have to set my camera up, wait for that cloud to move out the way and then see if we can get a picture or scene of this. All right, sun's come back out and I've decided to move just a little bit. First off, I was over there and I was trying to shoot against that. I've decided to walk around this path and now I've found the perfect composition, I think, with the two tree trunks. I'm going in really tight. I don't know if you can see on the back of the camera there. But we've got the two tree trunks that are split open. And then we've got the holly bush just above it, just behind it. Like I say, I've got the sun now illuminating it. And it's not too bright. It's quite, quite hazy. So I think that's going to make a really nice little image, that. So... Uh, I'll just go back to the camera and I'll talk you through it, I think. So I've just zoomed in all the way, manual focused, right into the middle of the tree stump there. So let's come back out again, 40th of a second, f5.6. I want to allow a little bit more light in. I don't want nothing really detailed behind it because it's quite a tight shot anyway. Allow a bit more light in. Um, and then we've got that lovely sunlight that's just capturing that bush. So... Like I say, it's already set up. Yeah, that looks quite, should we say a, a painterly look? You know that painterly brush look? I think it's going to look like that. Obviously, it's very hard to tell on the back of a camera, but I'm going to pop that up now and uh, see how that turned out, really. walked a little bit further into the woodland now um just come up to a crossroads well a fork in the road do i go left do i go right or do i just stand here so i'm just gonna have a wander around um the trees are showing a little bit more color out here this way a little bit further in i've come um maybe 10 10 or 20 percent more so still very changeable uh, changeable conditions at the moment um we've got over there We've got like um, a fence post, well, fence posts with wire going across it. That might make for an interesting down, down shot. Um, use that as a bit of structure and then have some maybe some branches leaning over the fence. So that's a possibility. Um, right in the distance there, when that sun comes out, it's very difficult to uh, try and pick out these images at the moment because when the sun comes out, the whole place changes. So straight in front of me there where that's where I've come from it goes down a hill and then back up the other side and it would probably be nice just to get just the tops of them trees all the mid part of them trees in but as you can see on the camera at the moment it's not looking too good because that great big cloud keeps uh blowing over so I'm going to stand here for another 10 minutes I think let that cloud blow over stand where I am scout the area out and then i'm just going to go straight to that one point i think that will be the plan a so i've made my mind up i'm going to use the fence um i was over there just a minute ago explaining maybe the fence had some strong points and there's nice leading lines um i've come to the other side of the fence and we've got a lovely trench that goes all the way up through the middle so we've got a bank on that side a small bank on that side nice big tree there to anchor that side of the picture 
we've got a nice focal point in the middle there we've got what's that a holly bush yep so we've got holly bush there um like i say sun's coming in and out so i'm not quite sure what it's going to turn out like but i've decided to set up another 10 feet back this way another good thing we've got which i think might add to it a little bit is this branch coming over we've got some color on it now so green's got a little bit of orange coming through the sun's just up there so if this sun comes through that's going to be illuminated and that should lighten the front of the image up you see we've got some beautiful ferns all lovely lucasade color going on there all this moss absolutely gorgeous it is dark green where it's basically been raining all night we've got nice rich colors going on there and we've got all the all the separation with all the leaves that have fallen so let me uh, get back on the tripod and i'll try and talk you through this image all right let's put it on live view so we've got a one second exposure on this f11 normally i do f5.6 because i don't want anything in the background but where this is a long leading line i want it to be quite sharp all the way through the image uh, first thing i'm going to be doing is so i'll zoom in and i'll show you where the point of focus will be it's on those dangly leaves right in the foreground so i'll come back out now so we've got a three second timer on it um, i'm going to take this shot here it's quite a wide shot really we've got a lot of leading lines going through and then i can always if i'm not happy with that shot i can zoom in a little bit and maybe miss the front of this out and then just go for what's behind. So. That's absolutely a mad explosion of colour out here. You can see all we'll see behind me. Absolutely beautiful. I've just come across composition, but unfortunately it just won't work. Um, I don't know if you ever get that see a composition you think oh that'd be great you set your camera up but there's just no way of really portraying that image through the camera i'll just swing around i'll show you we've got this lovely leading line which is a path that goes through basically just goes down a dip and back up the other side and we've got some lovely color in the background the sun keeps poking its head in and out so we've got a lovely bit of color right at the very end there and a nice like a light spot you might be able to get a shot like that but you'd have to zoom in quite far and you would like to get that dip down and back up the other side ah uh, i'm gonna have to try it aren't i um set my camera up now you never know if it comes out good i'll even put it up for you Excellent. Right, I think I'll have to wrap it up here. It's just starting to rain now. The weather's starting to change a bit, so I don't want to push my luck, get soaking wet. I think I've got all the images that I need today. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like and subscribe. Until next time, see ya.